Today, we are going to be diving into uncharted territory of the Trin Level universe. Today, we are going to be breaking the fourth wall and diving into Letterbox. If you don't know what Letterbox is, Letterbox is a social media app used to review and log the movies you watch throughout the year. I've been using Letterbox for about three or four years now, and it's definitely reached its peak in popularity within the past two years. I've been seeing a lot more people on social media use it. Almost everyone I meet on social media has a letterbox, but that still does not mean it has broken through the norm core lifestyle, meaning that no one I know in real life has one. We're not just gonna be talking about letterbox. We're not just gonna be looking at silly little reviews on letterbox. I'm going to be looking at your letterbox accounts. I posted a tweet on my Twitter account at level trin and on my Instagram at tka level for you guys to send me your letterbox accounts so I can look at them and critique every single part of it. Now, before we watch this video, we have to show off my letterbox account. My letterbox account is at level trin. It's where I log basically everything and anything except for movies that I do reviews on, I will usually give a one-liner or a review on. Now, before we go into y'all's letterbox accounts, we have to critique my own. My letterbox account is at level trin. I have 25,000 followers. And I hope by the time this video is out, I have 50,000 because there's nothing better than having a lot of followers on an app that nobody uses. So. This is my letterbox account and my top four favorite films are Juno. There's no arguing with that one. Raw, The Joy Luck Club, and Ready or Not. These four are my favorite films at the moment. Close running up is Little Miss Sunshine. Little Miss Sunshine got booted recently for Raw because I really just fell in love with Raw when I saw it. Here we have some of my recent activity. I just watched She's the Man Beef, the Super Mario Bros movie, and Scream 6. Scream 6 video coming soon if you guys wanna see that. Clicking to some of my reviews, here are my most popular reviews. I mean, I guess you could say I'm a little bit popular on Letterboxd. Nope is my most popular review, which was not at all like an actual review because I was planning on doing a video on it right when I saw it. So I didn't want to put in a lot into my review. So it's a very one-liner type review, 12,000 likes. Fresh, I did a video on Fresh, uh, 12,000 likes again. Here's my diary. All of this is public. If you go onto my Letterbox account, you can see all of this. You can see what films I'm watching. I'm not a Letterbox patron. <laughs> But if Letterbox wants to give me a Patreon membership for free, I would love that. Shout out to whoever gifted me the pro Letterbox. I have no idea who did that, but I remember I tweeted about it. And then the next day I had it and no one in my real life gifted me that. So one of you guys did. So if you are the person that gifted me the Letterbox pro account, thank you so much. Hit me up because I literally love you that was so nice of you to do you did not have to do that i would probably give my letterbox account like a three out of five it's nothing special the only reason why people follow me on there is because of my youtube channel they do not follow me because my letterbox account is oh so entertaining i'll take what i can get letterbox is one of my favorite apps to use i use it every single time i exit the theater actually i use it before i even exit the theater People always ask me what I'm doing after a movie when I'm on my phone. They're like, oh, are you texting? Are you like tweeting? And I say, no, I'm literally logging it. I'm writing a review as we speak. Make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is at level trend, the same as my letterbox, but I have been asking a lot more questions on Twitter, especially in relation to videos and video ideas. So if you want to input on it, definitely go follow me on Twitter. Um, ooh. Ooh, should I give myself a like? Um, just posted these pics today. Oh my God, she's so cute. This was the tweet I posted. Send me your letterbox profiles and you guys freaking responded. There's a thousand replies to this tweet. A thousand replies. Just take that in consideration. Like, I usually get maybe, I mean, I haven't really been popping off on Twitter recently. So like my average is like a 30, 30 reply to like a good tweet, maybe like a viral tweet, I get more, but even a viral tweet, it's like maybe a hundred replies. And that's for like something that's like over 30,000 likes. A thousand replies to one tweet is crazy for what I'm giving on Twitter. It's a thousand likes and a thousand replies. You would have thought I was like getting eaten alive in the comments by this. 
This literally looks like I did something horrible because the ratio looks insane. Over 300,000 views and you guys sent in your letterbox accounts and I'm going to be rating them. We are going to be rating them exactly how I would rate a movie on letterbox. Meaning I'm going to be rating them on a scale from zero to five stars. I'm going to be saying whether I like or dislike your letterbox account. And I'm going to be giving like kind of an overall review, like a one liner, if you will. And I have to say this, and I'm sorry I have to say this before we get started, but I don't know what I'm talking about. I never went to film school. I know nothing about film. I know just as much as you do. I have the same access to all the information on the internet that you do. I am just making a funny, lighthearted video. Don't think that I am looking down on you. I'm not better than you. I would never say that I'm better than you. I would never say that I'm better than people that follow me. I would never say that my letterbox account is better than other people. But without further ado, Let's get started. The first Letterbox account is Arlo Speaks. Top four favorite films, Ready or Not, which is overlapping with mine. So, twin, maybe I can't be too hard. Scream 6, Scream, and Over the Hedge. Over the Hedge is like the most wild pick to put with those three movies. The first three movies, it's like, I get it. Like, I see the type of person you are. But like, I would have expected in this slot of Over the Hedge, I would have expected it to be like X or like your next. That's what I would have expected in this floor, fourth spot. Not over the hedge. Only log 76 films, 34 of them this year. So this means that this is a this is a this is a baby account. In July of 2022, so it's kind of old, but it doesn't seem like you started using it until recently. Uh watch list. Only one movie in the watch list. <laughs> And it being Pearl, come on. Ready or not's your favorite film and you haven't even seen Pearl. The fact that it's the only thing in the watch list is kind of everything. Like maybe more people need to do that. Like stop having your watch list be 500 films long. Put one. Let me see what you actually want to watch. Because I know personally, my watch list, half of those films I don't even want to watch. I just want people to see that they're on my watch list so I look a little bit. Like, I look like I know what I'm talking about a little bit. It's like, no, I'm not going to watch that foreign film at like 3 a.m. But I put it on my watch list so you thought I was cool. I take it back. I kind of love it. I would give your letterbox a two out of five stars. And I think it's literally just because you need to be on it more. Come on. We need more activity. We need more films logged. We need more on that watch list. And I need, I, I want, I want you to update me when that gets removed from the watch list and what gets put on the watch list after you finally watch Pearl. Thank you, Arlo. This person's account is just rage. I don't even that just rage 475 films and only 25 this year for that amount of films i would have figured you had watched more films within this year top four favorite films are little women arrival dirty dancing and mad max fury road we have a lot going on within the recent activity puss in boots american psycho juno and spotlight juno it should be at five stars but that's just me. Uh, you've been adding more stuff to your watches. I feel like an absolute freak. Like, I feel like I'm in someone's home. Like, I'm like, you added this recently to your watch list. It's like literally watching someone grocery shop. I feel so invasive while doing this. The one star ratings only being 1% and the five star ratings being 25% is hilarious. This is like preferred letterbox rating um, scale. I don't like it when five star reviews on Letterbox is like literally trying to get like a million dollars from someone. When people are stingy with their five star reviews, it makes me a little mad. And I know that's like a very personal thing. And some people like take it very seriously. And they're like, my five stars is literally the golden ticket, Charlie. I'm not giving it out to you, bitch. For me, it's literally like they come to me for free. You get a five star, you get a five star, you get a five star. I don't care if I like it, it's getting a five star. The only time I will knock it down from five stars is if the rewatchability is not good. Like if I can't watch it again, you're not getting five stars, bitch. And don't you dare try to get it from me. When my thoughts come in for rating movies, three to three and a half is like, this is a life or death situation that I'm deciding on right now. Like three to three and a half, I am performing surgery and I don't know which cut to make next. Four to four and a half, 
everything is good and bliss and and I could literally do this in my sleep. And five star is one criteria and then the decision has been made. Because I already know what films I want to be five stars. And then there's one question I need to ask myself. And then the decision has been made. And that's how everyone should be ranking their letterbox movies. I don't make the rules. I just say them. Um, but this is, I love this. I love the slope of that. It just goes higher and higher and higher. Like the, the majority of your films being rated five stars. I know you're chill. I love it. Um, I would probably hang out with you. Uh, I would give your letterbox count. Oh, I'm getting into life or death decision making. Mm, three and a half. No, three, three, mm, two and a half, two and a half. Like it could be better. Next, we have none other than a fellow creator, a fellow commentary channel, if you will. We have none other than Mike's freaking Mike. Well, firstly, the profile picture. I love that picture of the dog and I love it that Mike always makes that face. I think it's very funny and I don't think that bit will ever die and I hope it ever, I hope it never dies. 224 films and only one this year one and it looks like that movie was the only movie you've watched this year is ant-man and the wasp quantumania <laughs> that's the only movie you've logged this year almost every single one of your films is not rated out of the 224 films 210 of them have no ratings mike we need to fix that we need to take a second to go through all these films and give them a rating because that's actually ridiculous three films have been logged and rated the only ones to have received a five star is catching fire ratatouille and the digimon movie tough profile to look at i haven't even gotten into the favorite films favorite films we have ladybird the talented mr ripley parasite and the italian job the fact that the italian job is in your top four favorite films is by far the most insane thing to ever come out of your mouth mike and mike has said some crazy ass shit the italian job being like top four right next to parasite mind you love the italian job like that movie was my childhood i don't know why i just freaking loved watching the italian job when i was younger i cannot believe it's in the top four like right next to parasite and ladybird mike has two lists movies that i have official ha movies that i have official merch hats of and everyone is jealous Cunty train movies. I love the list. The lists are really good. The lists are really funny. But the activity going on, the amount of films not rated, Italian job in the top four picks. I hate to say it, I really do, but I have to give Mike a three. Like, it's just you're not using it like you should be. Like, there is so much to be said, Mike. And I know you have the, I know you can say it. You can speak a lot. Let's bump up this letterbox account. It needs a little TLC. Next, we have Bagya. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. Um, again, I'm saying everything how I'm reading it because I think I have some sort of issue where I cannot pronounce things correctly. Like, I don't know why every single time I look at archive, I want to say archive. And I don't know what is medically wrong with me because I shouldn't say that. Anyways, 283 films, 40 have been this year, which is a lot for this year, being as we're only in April. I mean, that's like 10 films a month. I mean, it's more than me, so. Your top four favorite films are Shawshank Redemption, After Sun, Shiva Baby, and Interstellar. This is such an interesting choice because, because Shawshank Redemption and Interstellar kind of match in like, the types of people that like it. And then After Sun and Shiva Baby also kind of match in the people that like it. None of these really correspond within genre overlapping, but the audiences that enjoy it do overlap. And I don't see many people who like, who are in the After Sun Shiva Baby audience liking Shawshank and Interstellar audience. So the fact that you are both is very intriguing to me and it makes me want to know more about you. You have three pages of lists, which is actually very interesting that you're the first one to have 
like actual list all-time favorites horror but fun scream franchise ranked i need to make that this one's funny movies where florence Pugh is manipulated by a cult and held in a weird place against her will that's funny i really like your profile i'm gonna give you like a four just because i really am interested by these top four favorite films um i love the list and you have a good amount on your watch list your your scale from one star reviews to five star reviews is epic four and a half being your most popular rating everything i love it next we have 24 frames of nick if you guys don't know 24 frames of nick is a very popular youtuber you guys probably already know of him um we're mutuals honestly i've already, i've been following 24 frames of nick for a while on letterboxd harshest critic out here like a lot of the movies that i've seen that are very popular like nick is giving them a hard time i'm like you are a harsh critic bud like the super mario bros movie he said it's a mid mind you i also gave super mario bros three stars because it definitely is like the most three-star movie you've ever seen in your life and i love it i love that for it like i love it 1080 films logged our most logged movie reviewer yet only two list and 13 films this year so you've watched a lot of movies but they haven't been from this year see nick has a little bit more variety on the lower end spectrum of the ratings but four star is still the highest with the 216 films rated four stars making it 20 percent of his films in general nick is a very active letterbox user um i mean not this year i guess because he's only logged like 13 films so get fucked <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry about that one but he's also a patron so he's kind of like on a different scale like it's almost like he's like an elite using letterbox so it's like, of course, you would have like a thousand films like logs, like you're literally a patron and he's like famous. So we have to check our privilege. Honestly, I would give Nick a four star. I think he deserves a four star just for the pure amount of work he put into it. Like a thousand films logged, like almost 40,000 followers. Like he's on that letterbox game. Like he's a veteran and he's a patron. Well, actually, we'll knock it back to three and a half because, like I said, he's a celebrity and celebrities should be um, criticized harder. Next is Grace. Grace has La La Land, Mary Poppins, The Lion King, and Singing in the Rain. And all I can say from this is that you are literally, I don't know how old you are. I don't even know who you are. Oh, it says right here in her freaking bio. 21, she, her. I could bet you a freaking a million dollars people probably refer to you as an old soul and you like it and that's the most twisted part about it you go yeah i just like older things because like la la land is singing in the rain and mary poppins but for like sexy people but you definitely have an old soul that's what this is this is what this is embodying but i love it three stars next is pam 446 films only eight this year Come on, let's 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 get a move on it. More films this year. I'm acting like I watched that many this year. I only watched freaking 30. Top four favorite films, Beautiful Boy, Lady Bird, Twilight, and Palm Springs. I know exactly the type of person you are, and I would probably befriend you. Um, I don't know if we would be besties, but I do have a sense of who you are. Also, the fact that all your recent activity is featuring Sam Cleflin. I know exactly who you are and I know exactly who you are because I'm exactly the same way. And that type of person is a slut for Sam Claflin. Three and a half stars. Ooh, this one's kind of good. 966 films logged, 126 just this year, 418 on the watch list and their top four favorite films are Boogie Nights, Before Sunrise, The Rocky Horror Picture Show, and Sunset Boulevard. Ooh, but not many five stars given out. Only 11%, only 55 films of the 966 have been five stars. Ooh, films that have spent time in my top four. This is a great list. Everyone should do this. I'm literally stealing that because this is a really good list to have. Miss Stevens, I don't know if I would put that in my top four ever. Scream, 
all very good. Fuck it. Macy J, you're getting a five. The only thing that I would have liked to see is more five-star reviews. That's literally it. Other than that, it's like a perfect account. Awesome list ideas. A lot of films watched. So many films watched this year. And a really solid top four favorites. Next one is Emmy. Emmy has 468 films and 97 of them being this year, which is a lot. Top four favorite films, Little Women, La La Land, Lady Bird, and Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Again, like I said earlier, I think we could have a, like a, a few more picks that aren't super mainstream. That literally makes me sound like such an annoying person. Like I literally sound like I'm like, I like literally want you to be like, not like other girls. Like I literally like, where, why, why are you so basic? Like I literally sound like a freak. The reason why I want something a little less popular is because I can tell a little bit more about a person from the less popular picks. That's why when I'm looking at someone's letterbox account, I would prefer if there's one that's not super mainstream. <laughs> And it seems you like movies with a comedy undertone. So La La Land, Lady Bird, and Scott Pilgrim all have comedy undertones or even are more just simply a comedy like Scott Pilgrim. And you're obviously very into romance. All these movies feature heavy romance. Uh, Virgin Suicide's only getting two, three and a half stars is... is really hard to cope with. That's very hard to cope with. For me personally, three and a half stars. Your curve is really good. Your rating curve is awesome. Uh, four. This is a four star letterbox if I've ever seen one. The only thing I would have changed is the top four. Just because I think those films are really popular and I want to know a little bit more about you. This is Sam Hernandez's account. 1,500 films logged in 69 this year. 59 lists, which is a lot of lists. Only 80 on the watch list. For someone that have watched so many films, I would have pictured more to be on the watch list. The top four favorites are Little Women, John Wick 4, Decision to Leave, and Everything Everywhere All at Once. First, off impression these posters for your top four they make your account like just at first glance i'm like oh shit like you know what you're doing you know exactly what you're doing amazing visuals on the letterbox account not a lot of five stars given out only 144 out of the like almost a thousand you've logged that's 11 percent um yeah makes sense a lot of lists so many different lists we have 2023 ranked movies I've watched in theaters, which is a really good list idea. That's a very good list idea. And I very much like that. A very active letterbox user, liking a lot of different reviews, always leaving a review um, when you watch movies, um, adding new stuff, liking reviews, just a very active letterbox user. I'm very impressed by this profile. And honestly, five stars, why not? Kat's profile has 1,400 films watched, 20 being in this year, and 86 on their watch list. And the top four favorite movies is The Proposal three times and Spirited starring Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds. The bio is, could a mentally ill person do this? Cat, you know they can. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, you know exactly what they can do. We can see it. We can see it all. You basically opened your brain to us right here. And it's scary. The watch list, like this Ryan Reynolds movie from 2008, like all these Ryan Reynolds movies, like from 2007, 2014. Why do you want to watch every single Ryan Reynolds movie? And like, not even like the good ones, like chaos theory. What is that? The Croods? Like, I cannot say, this is a crazy profile. Oh my goodness. I can't even look at it any longer. I love it, but I don't love it. Three stars. And now circling it back to none other than my letterbox, let's reevaluate what type of letterbox account I have. A fair amount of lists, but I think my list could be a little bit more creative. I don't think we're like literally popping off in the list category. Like, 
people's lists are funnier than mine and I want to have funny lists too. Like, I don't think I'm slaying. I think like my top four could be a little bit better. I think if anything, I would probably switch out ready or not for, let's see, let's actually change it right now. <laughs> and we have changed my letterbox top four favorite films. It's Juno, The Virgin Suicides, Joy Luck Club, and Raw. Basically, if I could describe this person, it would be literally insane girl like insane in the most subtle ways possible because some of these seem like sweet movies like joy luck club and juno but then with virgin suicides and raw it definitely portrays me to be kind of um clinically insane four stars four stars for me though i think like that's a really good way the only thing i think i'm really like bumming on is the amount of films i've logged i've only logged 825 and my list. I think if I bump up my list, bump up the amount of films I've watched, like once I get to like 900 and once I get a little bit more cohesive lists, five stars. If you guys want me to do a part two or part three or part four, let me know because this was very fun. I loved critiquing people. There's nothing more that I love doing than being a judge when I have no criteria to do so. The only thing I hate about this is that it literally felt like I was in y'all's houses. It felt like I was in your room digging through your drawers. It felt so personal and it felt like I was invading every crevice of you. And I hate to say it, but I'm ready to do it again. And that wraps it up for today, guys. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more. And please let me know if you want me to do a part two to this video where maybe I'll look at your letterbox. And the only way I'm going to see your letterbox accounts is if you follow me on all my social medias because you never know where I'm going to ask. Is it going to be Twitter? Is it going to be Instagram? Is it going to be letterbox? I don't know. I guess you'll just have to follow them all. That wraps it up for today, guys. Bye.